find some perfect examples of stuff growing in the water. <laughs> Leave it a few more years and this will be everywhere. growing in succession. <laughs> Commonly known as the uh, Williams variety. This plant has long roots which enables it to grow on moss and the like. And the former sports hall that has now been poured up show signs of moss and fragile roofs. And due to also this clean air, algae has started to grow on the walls, complemented by ivy. Grammar School's former geography department crumbling away. New residents have taken over the former place of Dr. Higgett and Pupils with a nice ash tree invading. Since the school has been abandoned, the tarmac is starting to break up, and here we see MA4 deteriorating due to a lack of maintenance from Ron and Sylvia of animals beginning to take over the school site. As um, soon as the kids are away, the animals begin to play. Now, what species do you reckon that may be? I believe it could be a badger. <laughs> we have mosses, trees, and eroding paint. And the, move, the movement of the play pantry <laughs> has caused large cracks to grow in the plate boundary. Which plate boundaries do we think that is? <laughs> I think it's probably the Eurasian and the um, Stratford upon Avon <laughs> boundary. You see, we've got weeds coming through due to Ron and Sylvia's lack of attention. <laughs> Ivy has completely taken over this wall. Clearly, it's going to affect the wall, and the wall might fall down into the farmer's field. The farmer will be very upset. However, plants have now started to grow over the site. We see trees, brambles, and badgers. And then to Ron and Sylvia's water cup in home, <laughs> which has now been derelict for over 50 years. The school felt was about. Uh, hopes to the new residents of Worcester Grammar School. Beneath me there could be hedgehogs, woodlouse, mice, or badgers. 
side, the scores for the bum. And here we start to see plants and animals moving on to the former school site. An abandoned print stick has started to grow moss. Once again, a sign that Ron and Sylvia have not been litter picking. <laughs> and under the port cabin, we find many plants. And strange sound is also coming from it. Here we find a tree growing from under the porter cabin. Once again, dereliction and lack of attention from Ron and Sylvia <laughs> has caused a complete forest to start. Give it another 50 years and what do you reckon the consequences may be? I think we're going to lose the wall and the porter cabin will be gone entirely. This is the best viewpoint to view Ulster Grammar School since the dereliction. We can see moss growing on the top of the geography and languages department. On the farmer's fields, we've got a salt marsh developing. And if we turn to the... Right, we've got a very angry, angry Mrs. Tignall, I think. Um, but on the roofs, we have lots of moss. And from there, plants will start to develop. Pretend to be growing out the bush, right? What? <laughs> growing out of the bush. Pretend you're growing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what can be found when the school is there? This has taken 50 years to grow up. <laughs> and it's finally flowered. <laughs> a beautiful white flower. <laughs> About the middle.